Hello, my name is Yusop, also known as Job, and I'm a community manager at Hypehype. Today we are taking a look at the new features and changes introduced in 1.7.0, our biggest update yet. So let's swipe into it. The first thing you'll notice is that we have removed the remix button from the feed. Mr. Ping, I don't feel so good. You can still remix games, and now it's done via the Remix Evolution page in the bottom right. Remix Evolution page shows which hype the current game is remixed from, and you can start remixing by tapping the Remix This Hype button. In addition to the remix changes, we have also made changes to the Restart button. Now the Restart button can be found from the menu in the top right. From there, you can also find a button that shows instructions on how to play the game. Tip: To quickly restart the game, you can double tap the menu button. We have also made many changes to the social hub. Slide to DMs by swiping from the right. In addition to that, we are testing group chats with limited number of users. This feature will be widely available at a later date. Next, let's see what's new in the editor. Now you can bulk edit shared properties by selecting multiple objects. This is super useful when you are creating a big landscape and forget to enable collisions for the objects. This definitely has never happened to me before. Never. We have also changed the asset library. From the Discover page, you can find new and featured assets. Favorite assets to easily find them from the Favorites page. Last big change in the editor is related to playtesting. Now you can toggle logic and select nodes to debug your game logic. This is an advanced feature, but will be super useful when you are trying to figure out what's wrong with your logic. But let's not forget about the smaller features. Broadcasters, broadcast listeners, particle effects and formula nodes now get names automatically. The name is based on a signal, effect or formula, and you can overwrite that by giving the node a name. We have also added a new paste menu that shows up once you copy an object. It shows all objects that you have copied with timestamps. From there, you can paste objects as many times as you want. This menu will be cleared once you close the app. In addition to all these cool features, there are many smaller changes and hundreds of bug fixes. You can read the full change log in our wiki. Link can be found from the video description. We want to make Hypeback the best app possible for playing and making games, so your feedback is important. Share your thoughts about the update in the comments and join our Discord server where you can find other creators and join our community challenges. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos and streams. See you in Hypeback.